You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Wandick versus Stampley. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Wandick, you are suing the defendant for $79.40 for baby clothing you claim the defendant gave you for his child, then took it back in a fit of rage and dumped it in a neighbor's driveway. Yes, Your Honor. You're also seeking the results of a paternity test to prove once and for all that he is the father of your 15-month-old daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Stampley, you say Ms. Wandick suckered you into throwing her a baby shower for a child that may not be yours. Yes, Your Honor. You are countersuing in the amount of $410 for the cost of that shower. And furthermore, you say you have good reason to doubt you are not her child's father. You claim to have brought a witness yes, who is waiting outside of the courtroom who will turn this case upside down. Whoa. So, Ms. Wandick, tell me about your lawsuit. Your Honor, Mr. Stampley brought over baby clothes to my sister's house and we had got into an argument, and then he threw all the baby clothes to the neighbor's house, and why would he do that when he bought the clothes for the baby? Not me, but for the baby. It was a gift for the baby, not me. So, Your Honor, that's why I'm suing. And so, Mr. Stampley, at that point, you believe the baby was yours, right? No. You bought the clothes? Oh, yes, Your Honor, but I, I, had, I had a little bit of doubt. But you bought the clothes but anyway? I, I did. And so, what happened in this argument that would set you off in this way? Well, um, we was actually arguing. She wanted to chase me down the street, want to pull on my clothes, want to act a fool out in, the, out in the public, and then she want to tell me, oh, well, this is not your baby. So, yeah, I made it rain. I made it rain. It, your was, Honor. It, was, it was onesies on the roof. It was onesies across the street. It was onesies everywhere. Your Honor. <laughs> okay. So, once she told you the baby wasn't yours, you got very angry. And you took the clothes and just threw them? Everywhere. Okay. You, Mr. Sampley, you're also suing for $410 for a baby shower you said you put on... Yes, Your Honor. ...for Ms. Wandick. You thought she was carrying your child? Yes, Your Honor. So, you paid $410 for a baby shower? Yes, Your Honor. Is that the baby shower? Yes, ma'am. And so, at this point, did you have doubts that the child was yours? No, not at, not at this point. You didn't? No. You say she duped you. You don't look duped right there. Well, Thank you, Your Honor. Well, Your Honor, I, I feel I was, I was suckered and sweet talked into this baby shower. Oh. Pretty suckered much. and sweet talked? In yeah, what she way? Told me, she told me she, she has other kids. She told me that she has never had a baby shower. So, I felt it was only right that I, I do something nice for her and the baby and throw a nice baby shower. <laughs> Okay. I did uh, everything. She didn't have to do nothing but just appear. That's but you it. thought you were having a baby. Yeah, that's what I thought. So why do you feel like you were suckered? Doesn't look like you had a doubt there. Did you did you have a doubt? I did. But you did it anyway. But I did it anyway. Mm. Just trying to be a stand-up guy. Miss Wandick, did you sweet talk him out of a baby shower you would not have otherwise had? No, Your Honor, I did not sweet talk him. He's grown, he planned it, and he provided everything like he said he wanted to do. I did not sweet talk him. You're a grown man. I didn't have to, I didn't sweet talk you, and you know that. So, I need to understand first, how did you get together? I was walking by. He was selling his DVDs. He stopped and talked to me. We exchanged numbers. We went on a date. And then every... From that point on, Your Honor, we was together every day until the day that he went to jail. And so, in your opinion, you all were in a relationship? We was in a relationship, Your Honor. Mr. Stampley, was it a relationship in your mind? I mean, it turned... It turned into a relationship, Your Honor, but my intentions at first was not to... For her to be my baby's mother, uh, to be my girlfriend, to be none of that. She was on my line. Oh. She was on my line. She was sweating me. Oh, my me. God. Your I wasn't Honor. sweating her. This, no. this, this is... That's, that's what Honor. she wanted. She Can wanted I a relationship. Something? No, Your Honor, he's lying. When we met, he was like, oh, because he does have another daughter that's older, 15. And he, when we met, he was talking about, oh, I think you could give me my boy. Let's try to have a boy oh together. So, you did not say that to me? Oh, my God. Mr. Stampley? Okay. Mr. Stampley? Yes, Your Honor. She just said you pretty much asked her to have a child 
No, Your Did Honor. Did you say that? No, Your Honor. So you had no interest in this relationship. I, I didn't... I didn't expect for it to... I just wanted to remain as friends. When you were sleeping together, did you use protection? No. No, we didn't, Your Honor. Not and one so, time. And so, when you found out you were pregnant, what did you say? I told him that I was pregnant. I said, Mr. Stanford, I went away. I'm pregnant. I went away for 30 days, Your Honor. I went to jail. Me and her was together for a short time, and then I went away to jail for 30 days. Okay, Your Honor, but when... Before he went away, I was pregnant, Your Honor. Your Honor... So, you're saying when you got together with him, you were pregnant. And yes. so, when he went away, you were already pregnant. Yes, Your but Honor. But, Mr. Stampley, you believe she could have gotten pregnant while you were Your away. Honor. Your Honor, she called me when I... When I after I did uh, the 30 days, I came home, me and her was communicating. She called me one day from uh, the emergency room, asked me to come up there and come see her. I come up there to come see her. They won't let me in. So... Finally, eventually, they let me in after I waited for a while. She said, oh, I'm pregnant. Didn't no doctor tell me she was pregnant? I didn't see nothing saying nothing about being pregnant. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. After returning home from jail, I was over at a friend's house. She came over, and me and her was talking. And I kept asking her, I kept asking her, what's, like... Like, what's, like, Your what's Honor. wrong? She was acting, she was acting real, like, real funny. Your so, I just Honor. asked her. I said, man, did you cheat on... You know, because I started getting... So I started feeling some type of way. I'm like, did you cheat on me? I mean, what's, what's going on? She like, yeah, I did cheat. Oh. So, she... So, she admitted that she cheated. I did, Your Honor. I admitted that she I cheated admit. on him. We, like he said, we was at his friend's house. We got done having sex. And then after we got done having sex, I felt bad. And then that's when I confessed that at least I was woman enough to tell you. Her, but, Your I Honor, I was already was. pregnant. He did ask me who baby it was in the course of his baby because I was already pregnant the second time when he went to jail. All right. So... She was getting around, Your Honor. She was getting around. Mr. Stanley. Well, you wasn't there, so what else was I supposed to do? Look I already you sound, told you. Sound you. Stupid. I sound stupid. I but was only going for. There. I was only going oh, for a week. Oh, but you still wasn't there. You constantly was going back and forth to jail, so whatever. It's a bot, man. Okay, I'm lying. It's a straight bot. Okay, man. I'm a lie. Okay, we're gonna. Well, see hold who's on alive. now, Miss Wandick. Let's let's keep it real here. If you don't think it's a big deal that you slept with other people while he was away, when you were in a relationship, you gotta understand why he might You're, feel like it may honor, not I'm... be a big deal for you to, to, to hide the fact that maybe the child could be somebody else's. You're, You're very honor. cavalier right. about... You know, when you're, when you're cavalier and very casual about sex, that's only fueling his doubt. I understand, Your Honor, but I'm not being like, I don't care that I cheated, I admitted to him that I cheated is what I'm saying. I, I could have kept it to myself and he would have never knew nothing at all. But I was woman enough to tell him that I cheated on right. him. Right. And th look, that's a good thing. Your Honor, I asked her five times, though, like, like five or six different times. She kept saying, just trust me. No, I didn't do anything like that. All I want was the truth. Okay, she... and then I gave you the truth. Well, how many times I asked you, though? Okay, no matter how many times you asked me, I still told you. So, Mr. Sam, I didn't believe it. bottom line, you don't think she was pregnant already before you went away? No. You think the cheating is very well what could have led to the pregnancy? Correct. Meaning somebody else could be the child's biological Correct. father. Now, when you were cheating... Yes. Was it just one other person or more than it one? It was just one other person, Your Honor. Your Honor, I got a family member that even told me that she was doing a bunch of cheating while I was in jail. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. <sighs> And that's the witness you brought today. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> All right, Jerome, can you please go get this witness? <laughs> Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. <laughs> Ma'am, please state your name for the court. Mache Baker. Ms. Baker, thank you for joining us today. And your relationship to the defendant is? I'm her sister. Oh! You're the Alice, man. plaintiff's sister. Yes, ma'am. But you are the defendant's witness. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your Honor, my sister... Your Honor, my sister, she's just a big hater. She's a hater. Okay, um, ma'am, what do you know about this? Well, I caught my sister cheating on Mr. Stamp. Alice while he was incarcerated. You did? Yes, ma'am. And what happened? How did you catch her? 
Um, I was taking my kids to school. When I returned home, she was in the bedroom with another man. <laughs> really? Yes, uh, ma'am. And so was that just one time you caught her? On several occasions. <laughs> It was not several occasions. It why was. are you lying? No like, you don't really like you. you. I don't even know why you're you? here. Why are you lying? You're no one's Why are you lying? Why are you being a hater? Why no are you being a hater? You hater. did you're this the hater. not you're only one you're time. Mad. How, mad. Mad. How mad. many men did you okay. have running in and out of your home? Let's get How some order. Let's get some order. So, after you witnessed this, Ms. Baker, what made you decide to tell Mr. Stampley? I feel like he needed to know because me and both my sisters did not have. We have not... We grew up without parents in our home. So we both know how it feels to be raised without mother or father. So I felt like it was my place so that my niece should know if he is the dad or not. Do you believe she cheated during the window of conception? Yes, ma'am, and I actually Your have Honor. a calendar... Your Honor, can right I please ...right here that I would like to present You have a calendar? You. Yes, ma'am. Let me see that. Here you go. <laughs> In green are the dates Mr. Stampley was incarcerated. Yes, ma'am. In blue are the dates that you know for certain your sister had sex with her ex. Yes, ma'am. In red, October 3rd is the date your sister, Ms. Wanda, discovers she's pregnant. Yes, ma'am. And Namaya was born June 13th. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Wanda, as you look at that calendar, is it an accurate representation of your sexual activities during that time? No, Your Honor. Before everything... Already, before I cheated on Mr. Stampley, I was already pregnant, Your Honor. The good news is we know when Namaya was born and we have approximate dates they need as to, to add when you dates. were involved with both you men. Need to so, add their dates. Okay. so hold on. I do know hold what on. I was doing. Yeah, you know what you're no, you doing. I do know what I was doing. Uh, excuse me. Let's whole figure this hater. out. All right. I can type in the date of Namaya's birth in the conception calendar. That's June 13th. Now, if I hit calculate the probable dates of conception are September 16th through September 24th. Bam. So, the window of conception would be September 16th to September 24th. If we look at the calendar, we see you were with your ex during the time Mr. Stampley was incarcerated. Wow. Your Honor, she finally got her dates wrong or something because no. I know, yeah, you probably no, you did. Got your dates I know wrong. for a fact that you this is Mr. Stampley's baby. You don't even know how to do That's all she keeps saying. That's all she keeps saying. This my baby, this my baby, but she don't. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm here for. That's her sister. Her sister's not gonna sit here and lie on her. Why do you yeah. feel okay, your sister we'll would just lie on you? Your Honor, that was in the room chilling with somebody, and she always. Your Pink, Honor, yes, I got text... Chilling. Your Honor, she I wasn't seeing text that, messages, yes. Your Honor. I didn't see text messages from another guy talking about the baby. Really? So, well, when I asked her about it... Say? When I asked her about it, she said, oh, maybe uh, it was for my cousin. No, it was for you. Your Honor... It was for you. What did you read? Where's my baby and, and, and I, I miss you too and all... Yeah. Yeah, she's scandalous. I am not scandalous, Your Honor. Those she's text scandalous. messages was from my cousin when she was using my phone, okay. like I told you. Okay. 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 Mr. Stampley, yes, have yes, you Honor. developed a relationship with <sighs> Namaya? Oh, very much so. You have. Very much so. Me and Tell her, me. me and her bond, we do everything together. She called me daddy. Look, look, look at that little girl right there. No. And look, and look, she looks just like you. No, she, no, man. Yes, she do. Look at the head. Look at the eyes. Look at those ears. You're so you denial. really are torn apart. Yeah, because I know at the end of the day that that baby's not gonna have me no more. I'm not finna stick around. I'm not finna stick around like that. I don't move like that, Your Honor. Uh, that's that's all. I mean, that's all. I, all she know is me. That's all she know. You would walk out on this little girl? I, I don't want to, but I need to know. I need to know something, cause something's not adding up. Jerome, I think it's time for the results. And when we get him, you should just walk out her life, period, since you want to be in denial. Yeah, okay. Now look I'm at my baby. Her. Look at now her. She looked just like you. Look at her. Look at her. How are you going to deny her? We just gonna, because I cheated. We're going to find out right now. We're going to find out right cheated, now. Just because I cheated, though. Just because I cheated? Are you serious? She's going to cheat it. These look. results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Wandick versus Stampley, when it comes to 15-month-old Namaya Stampley. 
And as to whether Mr. Stampley is her biological father, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Stampley, you. In the case of Wandick versus Stampley, when it comes to 15-month-old Namaya Stampley, and as to whether Mr. Stampley is her biological father, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Stampley, you are her father. <laughs> Your fears and your doubts have been put to rest. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Wanda, I know you are angry because you feel like they were, you know, speaking negatively about you and didn't know your business, but let's be honest, you wouldn't be in this situation unless you put yourself in this situation. <laughs> Ms. Wanda, you believe Mr. Stampley owes you $79.40 because he bought you some onesies and then once you all got into an argument, he got mad and threw the onesies. Correct, Your Honor. Now, you've presented no evidence that would suggest that you could not get those onesies back. So because of that, I have to rule for the defendant, judgment for the defendant. Now, Mr. Stampley, you, in your claim, say you got sweet-talked out of $410 for a baby shower. That you gave for Miss Wandick, she in no way duped you or defrauded you out of four hundred and ten dollars. You gave the baby shower willingly because you thought you were having a baby and you were trying to be a stand-up guy. And ultimately, you were having a baby and you had a baby. And this child is yours. For <laughs> so, for that reason, judgment is for the plaintiff in your particular case. I wish you all the very best of luck. Take care of that beautiful baby girl. Court is adjourned. Thank you.